Hey, what's up guys? Heads here from Infinity Loops and today you are going to learn how to power whoop your loop power loop your whoop by Infinity Loops. Here's the scoop. I like to think about power loops as a two-step process done in one fluid movement. The first step is to climb up and get inverted. Once you're inverted, the second step would be to slowly pull yourself into a dive, continue the dive, and then straighten back out and fly back the way you originally went. The power loop is a move that can be done either under and over an object or out in open air. Good thing about this is that you can practice out in open air before you have an object in your way uh, to run into. So you can practice just how much throttle the tiny whoop needs to get itself up and inverted and then work on smoothing out your movement, getting into your dive and slowly adding your throttle and coming back to level to go back out the way you can. Now, if it just so happens that you live in a place like I do and it's an Arctic nightmare outside right now, Luckily, this is something you can practice in the house as well. Start with a kitchen table or a coffee table. Make sure there's nothing underneath it to block you from flying underneath. Make sure there's nothing hanging on the ceiling above it that'll get in your way when you go up and over. And I would also recommend if you're just starting out to put a pillow or maybe a stack of blankets on the floor where you're gonna be going underneath and up and over because you may just dive straight down into the ground and this will help provide a little padding to avoid cracking your frame or maybe a propeller. Not a big believer in tables, that's fine as well. You could practice this one in the simulator. Let's do that real quick so you can have a look at the exact stick movements and see what I'm doing. All right, here we are again in Velocidrone and we are going to find an object to power loop. This looks good, so we're just gonna come underneath, go up and over, that's it. That is a power loop. You're just gonna pull up on your throttle, pull back on your pitch, Come to the top, let off your throttle. When you're coming back into that dive at the end here, you kind of want to just pull back on your throttle as you pitch back to level. Now that's to do it over an object that's not that deep of an object. You want something with more depth or a wider object, uh, like this footbridge here. You need a little bit more of a flick to sail yourself backwards there. So you want to kind of cut off your throttle really fast and pitch back just a bit to get yourself over that object. Practice this a few times open air. You don't have to practice, like I said, over an object. Just practice open air, just getting into the movement of going up and then tracing that circle down. The things you want to avoid is coming up to the top and flipping like this and coming down like that underneath your object. That's one thing, like I said, that's one mistake you're gonna run into a lot that you want to avoid is kind of going like that. You want to do a bit more of a dive and keep it more drastic of an angle as you come into it. All right, now that we have gotten some practice in the simulator, let's charge up some batteries and try this in real life. 